Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and today we are going to be talking about vitamin C and if this is something that can actually help with your acne and acne scarring. So if you don't know, vitamin C is an antioxidant ingredient, and I would say probably the biggest amount that we get it from is from food, like eating lots of fruits and vegetables. A lot of people associate it with um, eating lots of like citrus fruits, um, like oranges, but you can even get a lot of vitamin C from like bell pepper peppers and different fruits and veggies of that sort so incorporating it into your diet can be really important but you can also use it in like topical skincare and it does have many benefits and I'm gonna be talking about some of the benefits that it can have towards acne and acne scarring today so vitamin C is sometimes also referred to as ascorbic acid and it's a water soluble ingredient that is definitely an essential vitamin for part of our health. And since our bodies do not naturally produce vitamin C, we do have to get it from other sources like our diet, like how I explained earlier, but it can also be a great ingredient applied topically onto your skin as it acts as an antioxidant. And basically what an antioxidant does is it helps fight free radical damage to the skin. If you don't know what free radicals are, they're basically oxidants oxidative stressors that are in your environment think pollution think the sun even like mental stress can be one of these oxidative stressors and these free radicals are unstable compounds that can basically cause damage to the skin like premature aging and overall by causing damage to your skin cells it can damage your skin so therefore vitamin c can be a great ingredient for healing the skin and protecting it from these stressors as well as accelerating the healing of your skin cells so therefore it is a great ingredient in my opinion especially throughout the day like I like applying it in my morning routine um, right before my moisturizer and sunscreen because it can actually help boost your SPF as well because it is an antioxidant it just kind of helps protect your skin along with your SPF and just gives your SPF a bit more lifetime to it which is actually really cool but the real question of this video is does vitamin C have the potential to help with acne well, acne basically causes redness and inflammation that can sometimes be triggered by these environmental stressors that I discussed such as pollution Pollution, stress, diet, your sleep, everything like that. And with acne, often comes acne scarring or post-inflammatory pigmentation, which is left after the acne mark has healed. And you are sometimes left with either indentation or a raised bump or redness, really just the damage left from that acne spot onto your skin which vitamin C can actually also help with as vitamin C is really great for pigmentation and post-inflammatory damage as well as post-inflammatory scars and skin damage. So overall, vitamin C can help lighten up those scars and kind of help rejuvenate the skin after those acne scars. Vitamin C is also known to be an anti-inflammatory ingredient and if you think about acne, your skin is inflamed and red. So vitamin C does have the potential to kind of help with this inflammation that comes along with acne. Acne. And in regards to the acne scars, there are three main types of acne scars, atrophic, hypertrophic, and keloidal. So we have actually done a full video here on the acne channel explaining the different types of acne scars. So definitely go check that out. I'm just going to be going over like a brief summary of that video basically to kind of explain how vitamin C can help with these types of scars. So atrophic acne scars means that there has been a loss of skin tissue. They mostly appear as small indents within the skin. So I do have a few of those on my skin um, where it just looks like a little bit of an indent from the acne you had previously. Whereas hypertrophic and keloid scars are actually raised skin from an overproduction of skin tissue. And this is basically caused by an excess production of collagen resulting in that raised scar on the skin. So this is why I mentioned the different types of scars because vitamin C is actually a great ingredient at helping with collagen production. And therefore it can be really helpful for a trophic acne where you have that deficit of collagen production and that's why the indents are created whereas for hypertrophic and keloidal scars you have the overproduction of collagen so maybe using vitamin c on those would not be a great idea because then you're just having more collagen production plus more collagen production which is really not needed so therefore i would say for acne scars vitamin c can be very very helpful with the pigmentation left behind as well as those atrophic scars than the other two now what i have 
really found helpful is a combination of microneedling and vitamin C to help with those acne scars. And there has been some research behind this saying that it just would accelerate the healing process of the skin to help with those indented scars and see further more progressive results. We have actually done a full video here on microneedling. So go check that out as well, where we explain the science behind microneedling. But basically, um, kind of similar to vitamin C, it does help with accelerating the collagen production within the skin and specifically with microneedling what you're doing is um, slightly wounding a certain section of your skin so that it tells like your body okay let's heal this part and kind of accelerate that healing of the scarring and using a vitamin c serum in combination with that can kind of boost that even more since they kind of help with the same thing and for the same reasons that vitamin c can also be very helpful for hyperpigmentation as well as dark spots from acne or the sun since I mentioned before, vitamin C is a brightening agent, so it can just kind of help brighten up those dark spots on the skin. And it also interferes with melanin production in the skin. If you don't know, melanin is basically what causes the color in your skin. So vitamin C will kind of interrupt that as it is an enzyme tyrosinase. So now that you kind of know all the benefits of vitamin C, as I mentioned earlier, I do recommend using one in your morning routine as it can kind of help boost um, your SPF and your protection from the sun. So that is my favorite favorite way to use it and I will just use it right after I cleanse my skin and if you don't use a cleanser in the morning just maybe rinse off your face apply this vitamin c and then go over with an spf on top now let's talk about some of the different skincare options you have when it comes to incorporating vitamin c into your skincare routine so first of all I would say that dark containers are best for this as vitamin c is a very unstable ingredient and with that really any exposure to sunlight or air will actually cause it to oxidize and and the more exposure it has, the less potency it has basically. So think of it as like it has a lifespan, you know? And as you expose it to more sunlight or the air, it's like life and power will decrease um, and just basically make it less effective on your skin. So I would say a dark container is really, really good for this unless it is a stabilized form of vitamin C where it has been combined with let's say vitamin E or uh, ferulic acid to make it more stabilized. With that, I would also recommend not leaving it in a hot environment. Make sure you store it in a cool and dry environment. I actually like um, keeping my vitamin C in my skincare fridge. I do apply it in the morning, so it's kind of nice to have that cooling um, sensation on the skin to decrease puffiness in the morning. But I also find that it just kind of maybe increases the lifespan of it a little bit longer, and therefore it's just in a cool environment instead. So you can get a vitamin C in like a serum form. This one right here is from Banish, and this is the banish oil and as you can see it is in a dark container and this one is just a clear um, like oil basically you can use this um, in the morning or at night this one is a little bit more on the oily side so I like to use this one actually at night if I am wanting to use vitamin C in the nighttime this one from CeraVe right here, this is the vitamin C serum. I personally really like this one. It has a really great consistency and it makes the skin look really smooth and bright right when you apply it. So definitely one of my favorites. Also get a vitamin C in a spray form or, um, you know, these type of like antioxidant mixes in a spray form as well. These are really quick and easy. Just spray it um, in the morning let it kind of soak in and it just makes it really easy to get an application of vitamin C right away. And another form I like is an actual cream. This one is from Banish as well, and this is the vitamin C cream. And I really like this one because it hydrates my skin really well. Um, it's a stabilized form, and it actually provides the moisture I need to my skin, as well as giving me those um, vitamin C benefits. So vitamin C is great, we've established that, but when are some times you should not be using vitamin C, and what are some skincare ingredients you should definitely not combine it with? I would say avoid using AHAs or BHAs when using vitamin C. And the reason for this is because these AHAs and BHAs have a lower pH, meaning that they are acidic. And vitamin C is very, very unstable. So introducing it within this acidic environment can just lead to skin irritation. And that's just simply because using all these products all at once just can cause the environment of your skin to be too acidic. 
But some great ingredients to use vitamin C with are ingredients such as vitamin E, ferulic acid, or even vitamin B. And oftentimes you can find vitamin C with these ingredients in a mix. Um, and that way you're getting some additional benefits too. You can even combine it with hyaluronic acid, um, which is a humectant that will kind of bring that hydration into the skin. So there are definitely some ingredients um, I like to combine it with and to kind of separate it out from my acids. That's why I like to use vitamin C in the morning and then I'll use my acids and exfoliators in the night. All right, guys, so that is all I had to talk about today regarding vitamin C, how it can help your skin and how it even has potential to help with acne and acne scarring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on our post notifications so you get notified every single time we post a new video. If you want to see more of me, you can find me basically everywhere at Lavinia Rosanda. But I hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!